Nanjoni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Okay, I'm going to start with the good news. Here's the good news. Not nearly as much rain as what we saw yesterday. The bad news, not that warm today. Still stuck in the low 50s with plenty of cloud cover. So we've seen better Sundays, but at least not a washout like we saw yesterday morning and into portions of yesterday afternoon. On live Pinpoint Doppler 12, we do have some scattered showers now pushing through primarily at this point, uh, Bristol County, Massachusetts. You can see down along 195 and into New Bedford, even a few showers sneaking up towards Fall River. In fact, we can take you in a little bit closer here on live Pinpoint Doppler 12, where you can see some of these showers. I mentioned Fall River, also Somerset seeing a few showers. These are all pushing down to the southeast. There will be a few more waves of showers moving in from the north, so we're not not completely done with all of this stuff just yet, but again, not the soaking like yesterday morning. Mostly cloudy skies in the capital city right now. Temperature is 44 in Providence. Gloucester, you're at 41. Westerly at 44. New Bedford at 43. Winds in westerly right now at 5 miles an hour out of the west. Eventually, these winds push out of the north northeast. That's a cooler direction for us, and that will help keep our temperatures capped in the low 50s today. Also keeping those temperatures down will be the cloud cover and some of these showers. Notice this batch of rain kind of wrapping around the eastern coast of Massachusetts. This is part of a piece of energy that's actually way up high in the atmosphere, but it really takes its time scooting out of southern New England today. Hence the reason to hold on to the to the threat of showers. So 8 o'clock in the morning, mostly cloudy, some scattered showers out there. Same story at noontime. Notice how we're not completely washed out. The areas of green are not that extensive extensive, but the spots of green are still present here and there. And then as we head into the afternoon, a few more passing showers. By 8 30, 9 o'clock tonight, we start to dry things out. That dry trend continues into Monday morning. So really the only issue you have for tomorrow morning's commute would be the sun. So bring along the sunglasses. As you can see, things are dry at 8 o'clock on Monday morning. Now, temperatures today, low 50s, 53 Charlestown, 54 Westerly, 52 in Newport. There are those winds coming in out of the northeast at 5 to 12 miles an hour. Now here in northwestern Rhode Island, this is an area which could get a few pockets of sunshine today. Basically, I think the further west you go, the more likely it is you pick up some pockets of sun. Still more cloud cover than sunshine, but at least some spots of blue here and there. 53 Foster, 53 Burville, 53 Woonsocket. Where the clouds and the showers will be more frequent will be out here in Massachusetts. 53 Fall River, 50 in Taunton with those cool winds coming out of the northeast at 5 to 12 miles an hour. Middletown, you get up to 53 and Little Compton at 53 degrees. In the seven day future cast, we have a good start to the work week with 59 on Monday. Again, those temperatures rising through the 50s throughout the afternoon. Three o'clock, we're at 59 degrees. Now, because of the wind direction, the coast will be a fair amount cooler in the low 50s for Monday. Tuesday, we're dry during the day, 54, increasing clouds. And then Tuesday night, we'll start to see some showers move in, most likely not until after 10, 11, and maybe not even after until after midnight. And then these showers continue into Wednesday and Thursday. Things very unsettled for the middle of the week. Some of these showers will be heavy at times. Even into Friday, I hang on to the chance of some showers with a high of 62 degrees. But optimistically, I'm putting in some breaks of sun by Friday afternoon. Then on Saturday, it looks primarily dry with a chance of a few showers in the evening with 63 for a high temperature. So things looking better by the end of the week into the first part of the weekend, even though the chance of a few spotty showers will be there. If you want an updated weather discussion and an updated weather video, you can always go over to WPRI.com.